things that you wanted that you didn't get. A father! Pitiful parenting ruined relationships. You are trying to be here with this woman. It's not mean. It's dark. You are a liar because let me tell you something. He Just says you're an egg donor. There. You're a drug addicted hooker is what he said. He told me this 10 years ago. I thought we moved fast. father bill my relationship with my father is i feel like he's pathetic right now you know like my dad been gone my whole life he went to jail when i was like four years old how many you know, years home man okay you it's okay for you to go get another family you know like you you are a man you can go be with a woman you know and i expect you to raise her kids as your own when he comes out he hooks up with yes, women Bill. with other relationships, yes. with other kids, and other he's kids. treating his other kids his other better kids. than your, his only biological yes, child. Yes, Bill. And, my, and before, like, before me, before he went to jail, he had three step kids. You know, I met them about maybe nine years ago, and we have a close relationship. They don't try to like take over my dad, but it's like he treat them fairly. You know, but when it comes to a point where you're treating your other child, your only child, different from them, like, why are you treating your step on? I'm the one causing drama in the family. I'm the one that won't break. I'm the one that won't stop causing problems. And you're emotional about this. I'm very emotional, Bill, because I always see you to miss prom, dances, you know what I'm saying? Emotional times yeah, in my He has life. a lot of things to make like, up on, and he's not making up. He's not he's, making he's up He's punching you. He's ignoring you. Yes, he's ignoring me to the fullest. Like Disrespecting I'm you. Disrespecting me, Bill. That's how I feel. Like, you really disrespecting my feelings. You disrespecting me as a woman. You disrespecting me as your own child. Come out. You kicked him out. Bill. How do you feel about the women that he dates? Do you get along? I don't like them because they ask him for nothing. Just come to me. You not my daddy? Like, I can't ask my own daddy for nothing? That really hurts me. And then when he come to me and tell me, well, you know, you know how she is, or like, what you mean I know how she is? Do you know I'm your child? Please welcome Kirby's biological dad, Robert, to the show. Robert, come on out. Serious? I'm serious. Are you serious? I'm serious. You serious? I'm dead serious. You come I'm on national TV serious. for all this here? Yeah, because you don't, and you act like you don't care about how Are you, you make me feel. How you act like you, you don't care. You don't care. You treat all your kids like they just a huge part of your life. You mean, I mean step kids? It's stepchildren. Your stepchildren. Only because biological. Ask me one question, then. I want to know one thing. Is you my woman or is you my daughter? I'm your daughter, but your women act like I'm your women, and that's the problem that I have. Well, why don't you stay in a child's care. place and let me do what a I do? Child's place, I'm a grown well, why you can't do that and just leave me alone? Okay, well, well hey, we're we going to have to leave each other alone then. Because the issue with me. What so okay, you out here telling Bill you done this, you done that, when, in, when I was in the joint? You didn't do all that that you claiming? I came down there seeing you all the time. At the tail time. end? It doesn't matter when it was. I was young. At the I tail end? Have, I didn't have no car at 12 and 13 years old. Don't you feel guilty, Robert? 15 years you're in the joint, you come out, and she treats you like a father would like to have a daughter treat the daddy, and then since then she claims you're with girlfriends, you're with stepkids, you ignore her. Is that true? Any woman it's that I be with, you know what I'm saying, it's I done true. told this woman a thousand times, as my child, she come first. Any woman I get with, I tell a woman off the top, if you can't accept my child, then I'm going to holler at you. Bill, he it's don't accept me, Bill. What do you want from him? He don't accept me. What do you want me. from your dad? A father relationship. I want a relationship with him. I want him to start treating me like I'm his child. Okay, uh, can I should treat on me on like I mean something to me. Tell him that. I'm and I should, so I should, I should, I should just stay at home. Because every time I look up, it's a problem with you and your, your girlfriends, your women. And then you come back and tell me, well, you know, she said this. Kids better than he treats you. Yeah, Bill, right now, he got a picture of his stepdaughter on his screensaver. You got a whole daughter right here. Really? Come on now. What come about Tisha? No. Kirby, tell me about Tisha. Okay. Tell me Tisha, about Tisha. Tisha is one of his other stepkids. When she the oldest or whatever, you know, we, like I say, I mean, oh, well, Kirby, you wrong, you know. Well, maybe you should look at it from their standpoint. What about my standpoint? How many stepkids do you have? How many do you have, Robert? How many kids you got? How many, how many stepkids you got? You want to add them all up? How many biological and how many stepkids? I only got one biological. That's it. How many <laughs> stepkids? I got about four, five. Got like six of them, Bill. Six of them. Well, you know, a child She's like her. special, oh, isn't she? A child like her. Nasty text now. I think it was a bad song for going. That was the disrespect I ever heard. I text him, okay, he he tell me he's going to keep his stepkids overnight. So, you know, like I say, he moved in the house with me when he got out of jail. Now this woman, he got a woman, kids and everything. Why you go over there and stay with them? Why but didn't you, Robert? My house. Why'd you move? You she kicked you out. Look, Bill, Wait, you. Let, let your daddy talk. Robert, why we got the problem like that. See what I'm saying? I got the 
daddy. Who she say? But I'm the daddy, though. Let the daddy. Let the man talk. Let the man shut up like a child. Okay, we're gonna tell your side. Let Robert, Robert, go. What do you want to say to Kirby? Now listen up, Kirby. It's always your fault. Listen, listen, your daddy. Did you do anything that besides run your mouth and just listen? You cry. Because you ain't a daddy to well, me. You cry because you want to cry. You ain't got to no, cry. No, because you make me. That's you cry why. because you choose because to cry. Because you make me. Look here, Bill, let me explain something to you and talk to her anything. They were anything. friends at one point, right? You know what I'm saying? We used to I was with the mama. I was with the mama first, you know what I'm saying? We used to Matter of fact, Tisha, mama was my first love, to be exact. Not not the first break. Her mama, her mama, her mama didn't want no more kids when I got with her mama. You know what I'm saying? So I begged for the kids. You begged for me and then you don't want me. I had three, you know what I'm saying? But two guys should have lived. We got Tisha coming up. Tisha and Kirby, you two were close, but now you've fallen yeah. apart. Because she always taking his side. Because like, I'm God, no, somebody got to take my side because what you on this side. You always got the damn I side like you got the whole damn thing right now. <laughs> you, you running it all. Are these two married or are they father and daughter? That's what I want to Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. the confrontation you can't miss. He was with my daddy in my life before he had Let's you. Let's go one at a time. Is out of line for everything that she's up in there saying. She needs to butt whoops. She needs to be. Today's about fathers and daughters in conflict. Kirby, do you think there's a possibility that maybe you're a little bit too controlling with your dad? He's your. So she like, if he showed me attention as a daughter, yeah, go, I, then we wouldn't have these problems. He I tries to make specifically me. do you want? Tell him. I want him to catch you, uh, your woman. Why I gotta come to her to come what, to my own daddy? Was you, you that? Was she there when you made me? Hell no, no. Okay, why well, I gotta go to what, her to get on, to what you? What woman then? is gonna be more important than you? I keep asking you the same I'm question. Your women. I'm trying to act like you don't know. I can have a million women. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't know what's going on. I really don't know what be going on. I don't have to ask you a damn thing. I don't have to act like. I'm who's the daddy and who's the daughter? That's your problem right there. Who's the daddy and who's the daughter? You don't listen to me daughter? because you feel like I'm a okay, child. Okay, I'll tell you, you what. I'm your son be, and yeah. you my mama. You're too grown to mama, listen to me. That's your problem. Mama, can that's I talk? Still, now listen up, Kirby. God gave you two ears and one mouth. Listen and twice as... Now, <laughs> Robert, what do you want from your daughter? Now listen up. Hold on, honey. Two ears. Go ahead. What do you want from her? Really, really, be. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? All I want her to do is be respectful as a woman that I treat her to be. I love her with all, with everything. That's what she he means say, the world Bill. to me. Are you listening to your daddy? That's what he says. See what I'm saying? He, he says it, but he doesn't show it. It's what he don't show it. Kirby, you are out of line. What you need to do? You trying to be his woman instead of being his daughter? You so controlling. You don't know. Tisha, Honey, we let her talk for a moment. Hell no. okay, Tisha, you are the stepdaughter of Robert. Now, how do you see this biological relationship working? It's going down here. Tell me why. Because women. Because, because women. She won't let her talk. Let her talk, honey. Go ahead. Because Kirby is controlling. She feel like everything got to be about her. She feel like dad is not able to have a woman if she not allowed in the picture. She don't like none of his women. I like, I'm his woman because I asked him to spend time with me. No, you ain't the woman because you feel like he can't do nothing. Hold on. Let me no, say I need to see her. Hold on. Because she's Tisha, saying, no, hold on, honey. Let me say something. This. There's a possibility because of the 15 years in prison that she is scarred, she has pain, and she's okay, just she said that to him. She said I don't want to see him with her daddy. daddy. He was she with her daddy. daddy in my life before he had Let's you. Let's go one at a time. You had your own daddy. And that's my own daddy. And my daddy's what? He what? Y'all think I don't see that? Y'all think I don't care? How do you feel, honey? I'm feeling it. Here's the stuff. Relationship with my daughter. What did I tell you? I said, We're not 
not going to try to rewind the time. look at the pain in her eyes. We're not going to try to rewind the time. But we you spent 50. She lost her childhood kids, when you were in, kids, he was in jail kids, for 15 years. He's going to be with a woman. He's going to be dead to him. But what no, 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 Well, tell your dad why you have such pain. I, Many nights putting my head in the pillow saying, I wish my daddy was here. I have to go to school, go to father and daughter dances with somebody else's daddy because mine is not there. And when you come home like a child, then when I come, then when you get a woman or whatever, you want to be in her kid's life. And when I call you, you come back and tell me I'm starting drama in your life. How you think that make me feel? But let's see. When I told you right then and there, I wanted to be a part of your life. You told me, don't come in to try to get in. Don't try to fit in on anything. Just come on in, because you are what you are. And you I my daddy. Dead. Oh, child, you the one that I told you a thousand times, the blood that flowed through your brain is my blood. That's Why not you your mama blood. Like you That's do. my blood. Do you, you feel that, that, honey? Do you so feel that? The same token, no, you don't, you don't on, feel it. No. See, you say he says ask, it, but he doesn't do it. All I ask, let me tell you something. Any woman, mama you got to wild. understand it. See, that, that's another thing. Yeah, your mama took care of you. She but did. I was been there, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't there. So I respect no, that. We're going to continue abuse. with this What's later that? on. A son demands answers from his allegedly deadbeat mom, and that's next. Stay right there. Woo! Blood Between Brothers. When you first met Mark West, what did you do? Can this family be saved? Is there any way you can move on? Can you forgive? Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free. Our guests today claim their moms and dads were despicable deadbeats that need to own up and apologize for their pitiful parenting. Please welcome our next guest, Mark Quay, to the show. Mark Quay, how you doing, man? I'm all right. How you doing? All right. Mark Quay, tell me why you're here. I'm here today because I feel like my mom is a deadbeat parent. She don't try to be there. She don't know how to be there. And I'm just sick of the ten kids. Ten, and you were number six. I'm the sixth child. And how was she to all ten kids as far as a mother? None. Zero. Like, she, she's there, and she's trying to be there, but she don't know how to treat her kids. She don't know how to connect with them. She don't know how to be a mother. And what do you call your mom? Donna. Donna. You, you say she's an egg donor, and that's it? I'm adopted, so I look at my adoptive parent as my mother. So at the end of the day, I, look, I can't have them both in the same room. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, it's too emotional for her. She don't want to take it. I have to look at her and be like, you know, mom, just to make her feel good. That's how I look at it. That's how I got to look at it to make myself sane. What was going on in her life that kept her from being a good parent to any of those ten children? Well, she had my prostitution, drugs, you know. So today you want answers as to why a woman would have ten children, I assume numerous baby daddies, uh, cocaine, crack cocaine, uh, prostitution, on the street, lost all of her kids, and you were abused in foster care, correct? Exactly. I mean, uh, I am um, just looking for this. If you want to be here, don't look at my past. Don't act like you was there. If you want to be here right now, be there. Be my mother. Yeah, that's what you that's want. That's it. Don't, don't come at me like you was there the whole time, like you was raising me. Like I said, my adoptive parents raised me. They are my mom. They have that privilege. You don't need that relationship. I don't but, need it. But there's it's sense stressing me you out. You say that, I'm, but there, the reason you came to New York and you brought your biological mom, there had to be something in there that said, you know what? You say one thing, but you're... So, how when old? they... 83 or 84. When they leave, she got to pick up that slap. I'm not saying I need a parent. But I am saying it's helpful. I'm in college. I can't push myself through there. So much drama. You know, I'm she got me feeling like a black mother, sheep. Donna, to the show. Biological mother. I, I don't stay I with you. I can't believe. I don't no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, let me talk. All right, go ahead. Let me talk. Go ahead. This was show was not supposed to be about me. I thought that I was coming here to establish a relationship with you and your brother and try to get my feelings and, and try to get to know you to try to talk to you because you don't like talking to people you like cussing at people everybody else got to do Look, oh, it's all about at mark way at the end of the day no 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 i'm not on no. drugs kale baby you know, I, I'll, I'll 
don't say this, Donna. What? A recovering drug addict shouldn't be on marijuana. Right? It's not about that. She I don't do it every day. He, he says you're an egg donor. There. You're a drug addicted he told hooker me this is what he 10 said. years ago. I thought we moved past that, baby. He hadn't moved past that. I thought huh. we moved past that. All she do is when, use when, me. When All she house, got to do is use go, me. We go to church. I live we in do Equus. You stay downtown. Why? Detroit. You want to sit here and call me for five dollars? Why did you have ten kids if you couldn't care and support them? Well, at the time when I had the kids like that. It was like I had five and I was on my own. I was about you to get married. You didn't raise any of them, right? No, that's a lie. That's a lie. So you so went to I a shelter. Did the, no, I couldn't go. I had too many kids. They too many take, kids. They went to so take where'd me. you go? I didn't. I, well, I, well, I'll put it like this. I went to court. I did the parenting classes. I did the uh, she tried. session. She tried. I did try. And guess what? She didn't try enough. Any well, guess mother what? know that guess if you what? lose no. your children, guess you're going to try your once damnedest to get them, them back. Once I lost them, so, no. I did try to get you back. What are you saying? I did try. But Tell him what you did, because he feels left alone. He was abused. There, and you're, with your other supposed to be mom, I love her too. I love her too. Ain't no supposed we to be go, mom. You we call go over there, mom. we have dinner you over there. What are you saying? She took care of y'all. She took care of she you. She sure did. She took care no, of you. No, she and you're not, not even grateful. You're not even grateful for what she did. It's not like I ain't been in your did. life all the time. Me and her been knowing. She, when we, when she you got adopted, adopted five of my brothers. Time. Time. What do you want to see happen? Do you want a relationship? Yes, I do. With Marquette. How about Dominic? You want a relationship with him? Yes, I do. I just met him two months ago. That's because your son. Me. And how, how because old is no, me? Because I'm saying here, bitch. I'm coming in when we talk, but he, I didn't even know he we was coming. We got Dominic coming up. I have a house. I have five kids staying with me. And you're going to tell me that I don't have no relationship and with you? And they don't respect you because you do yes, not do. treat them yes, like you're supposed to. Okay, well, I'm going to Dominic is coming up. Is Mama really a dead beat? Stay right there. The brotherly bond may be broken forever. That was four years together that you just took from me. I don't care what you can say. You had no business doing no dumb stuff like that right when I met you. You won't believe what he did. You met him, but what happened? Don't miss what happens next. Your attitude is just so terrible that you can't even let somebody talk. My attitude playing. is terrible because it's what's, de it's what's deserved. Were your kids taken away from you because you were an unfit mother? Have things changed for the better and now you want your kids back? We want to help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-USK-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message if he doesn't want to, then I, I'm going to still try. Today's about reunions of deadbeat parents. Mark Way, is there any way... If Donna offers a profound apology for what she's done, you can never forget what went on, but you can forgive. Is there any way you can move on everything that's happened in all the yesterdays of your life and live your life today, tomorrow, and forward? Can you forgive? Never forget, but can you forgive? I can forgive her, but I just want at the end of the day for her to be a mother. If you don't know how to be a mother, then don't assume to be a mother. Ask to be a Does mother. Does she act be embarrassing and immature? She's embarrassing. You can't take her nowhere. Why? Took inside my school college in a bookstore, and she see me buying my adoptive mom or something. Now she gotta get something. It's no big deal. She but embarrasses the way you, you and do it. Because it's I am a proud problem. of you. It's, oh. I am proud of you. Really? Do you understand that? You didn't went to the last graduation college. from college. How are you proud? Because you, you tell didn't me, tell you me what day it was. You, you did proud? not tell me what day it was. You didn't even tell me what day you was graduating. A whole year place. I've been I've been going to school. You didn't know what day I was graduating. No, I did not. Is there any excuse for that though? No. Everybody in my classroom, I have not but one it, person saying, in the audience in, to sit I, there. I'm, do, I'm going through a lot of stuff, and I'm Congratulations, still with, Mark And Wayne. I was staying with what? I was staying with my daughter. Her, and you still. My sister and her both said that you're not even going to graduate. You're going to fail. No, I did not. So, and you graduated. You, like and you wanted not, your mom no, at your graduation. I did not Please say welcome that. Marquay's brother and you Donna's are. son, Dominic, to the show. Dominic, come on out. All right, Dominic. You know what, Marquay? First off, you know, let's address the attitude. You know, this is, you know, our mom, first off. You know, I see that she's trying to do better. You know, I, even though I was adopted at 19 months old, I never knew I was even adopted. This is your biological mother. Right, this is my biological mother. But Dominic, mother. let's go back a little bit. When you first met Marquay, mm -hmm. and you've been many years, you just recently met him because of social media. Mm -hmm. What did you do that angered greatly Marquay? Please, let him talk. What did you do? 
You know, when we first met, um, I was at Huntsville, really didn't care. I was at 19, so I didn't really have a I don't care attitude. But 19 years, hadn't been, but you met him, and what happened? Slept with his ex. You had sex with his ex? Right. Mm. But you just time? met? Right. Another man? Mm. That is not the way to build a relationship right. with your long lost brother, is to marriage. have sex. Tell the story, Marquay, what happened? This is what is hurt. I was on vacation. I go over to Jacksonville, Florida every year. I cut my vacation short because he asked me to come see him, to meet him. He stayed in Huntsville, Alabama. Ten hour drive. I was sweaty. I was the only one that drove, so I got in the shower. As soon as I got in the shower, they doing it. Mm. I thought you told me you went to sleep. They doing it. Oh, that's, wow. that's, that's not even After, how it happened. It is how it happened. That's not After how it happened. I got out the shower, we go to the store. I mean, we start to go for a walk. We go out, I get out the shower, we're going for a walk. He's too gay for me. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not trying to sound a contradiction, but I know how to act. Well, Mark Quay, the, the details, I don't want to hear the details, but Dominic, yeah. brother, Bod's your brother 19 years, mm. and within 20 or 30 minutes, you're sleeping uh, with an ex-lover. And that's the thing, though, is that's not even how it happened. You didn't be honest how? with well, me. Did how? you do it at all, at any point? I, I did. Okay, and let's move you know, I'm, I'm not going to tell I'm The not gonna details, lie. let's move on to the mother issues. Tell, tell me now. That, that is something that you're never going to forget. Right. Do you feel a sense of remorse for what you did? I mean, I genuinely no. do. No. I honestly do. No, and I try my best they, to just... I only caught them still talking, though. Do you ever apologize and say, look, right. I'm sorry? I apologize as much as I possibly could. But to face. be honest with you, there's nothing that I can do to apologize he to him care. because he doesn't Why want to Why would you do that to your own brother? Because he a I mean, at the time, you know, I was 19. I was too, it was too much freedom at one time. I too was much too, freedom? I mean, it was, I was in foster care all throughout my whole life. Pretty much, you know, after... That has nothing to do with my relationship, though. No. That was four years together that you just took from me. Well, can you let me get after a chance? After the same day I just met explain. you, I don't care what you can say. You had no business doing no dumb stuff like that right when I met you. Mm -hmm. Period. I mean, that true. That may be Period. the case, but at the same time... How the hell like the adoption you. got anything to do with that? That's, it doesn't. To be honest right. with you. Let's do this, Dominic. Well, I'm He's got a good point. I didn't see that. I was 19 years old. I was all the freedom. I didn't care. Right. You know, I didn't care. I made that very clear to you. What now are the I'm issues you have with your mom, Donna? Because you, know, you also, from the day of your birth, had no relationship with her at all. Describe the first 19 years of your life. You know, to pretty Donna. much the first 19 years of my life, you know, I was adopted. I never knew I was adopted. Um, my adopted mom passed away, and then I got put back in foster care system uh, from when I was 16 till 21. When I find out, you know, what do you want? What do you want from Donna? You know, pretty much all I want from Donna, you know, she's trying her best right now. She's Thank being as much. she's being as much as she could possibly be right now. I mean, I can't really ask for more. Now, when I was 16 and I finally met her, you know, there could have been more that was done as far as me what being in foster care. What kind of pain do you have from not not having a biological mom? You're you're in the system. Your mother's doing drugs, prostitution mm -hmm. on the street. I and, mean, the and pain you had no was idea just... that this was even your mother. I mean, at the time, I, I really didn't know how to feel because I was like, I don't know you, so why would I want someone that I don't even know to be a part of my so, life? So, do you think Marquay needs to give your mother a break because you're kind of... I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, I honestly do. Like, you two, y'all grew up different. You had a different lifestyle than I have. But I honestly think that you should be more open-minded and let her get a chance. Like, you're not giving her any he's chance not, to be anything. Not, you're just, not giving you're, me a you're chance. You just, just coming in the family. Give, you think you can no, speak? No, because I mean, he's I mean, been I'm here. just saying, like, you're not he, giving her any he, chance whatsoever. Your attitude is just so terrible that you can't even let somebody talk about My attitude anything. is terrible because it's what's, de it's what's deserved. We talk about everything. You even try to help me be a better mom today. You've been helping me. I don't understand why that you had changed to flip the script. Last night we went to the hotel drinking um, NJ, having a nice time because it was his birthday. He's still hurt. He's hurt. I understand he's I, hurt. I can't Dominic's help. not as hurt as Mark Wayne. Mark Wayne is hurt. I mean, and we have a lot more you, coming up. Stay right there. For your free tickets to see the Bill Cunningham show live in New York City. Today, we've been dealing with accusations of parental neglect. We've heard from my guests quite a bit now. My audience has their say. It's time for Talk Back with Bill. Woo! All right. Go ahead. My question is for Tisha. No disrespect, but don't you think that you should let Kirby and her father work it out just then? Because that is really her only dad. But I like to know, why would you say something like that? That's my child, too. You see? You see? He care about her feelings. He this child is nine months old. I've been he in her life. She was She's 26. He I've been there. Her, her she ain't got no dad, years. I'm a daddy. Out of them 26. 
So Where's is your biological? You know, what no. makes y'all think the that problem is he when you say me. things like this? Do y'all this? know since he's been home, I only seen him twice. This will be the third time today that I've seen him yeah. since he's been home. Them two, they go out to eat together. They be everywhere. Oh, together. Yeah, well, he he my together daughter is six months. He only seen my daughter one my time. Life. Wait a minute. So you're saying he you're not involved in Robert's life too much at all? I don't be even the two times you've seen her is too much. But she know everything. She knows everything. He told her. You call me and his girlfriend called me. Y'all both called me and then I called him. You know why she called you? Because she wish she can call me because I'm tired of her and her drama. Oh, let me tell you what Kirby did. So your drama oh, is did, really with her and not with like, the fact that next he's a question. father to me. Go ahead. It's not, it's not even so much about you because I didn't have a problem with you. So, like, but y'all you put made yourself so in like you had a problem with me. Because you put yourself in it. Kirby, next question. Go ahead. Actually, I, I disagree. And this is a perfect, this title is a perfect, um, the title of this show is perfect for YouTube parents. I don't know why you think that it's up to the kids to make the situ situation right. It's up to you guys to make the situation Thank right. You. I'm making it right. Thank Do you have the kids? Do you have the kids? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. But at the same token, you say you have kids, yeah. right? Do you have kids between them? Do you have kids between them? I set the stage. I set the situation for my kids, and they're even. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I I you don't pay the cost to be the boss and start going drama. You don't like this. Tell the truth. Boy, you make a girlfriend drama. Tell him. How is it that me and her relationship is stronger than yours? Because you're gay as hell. But that ain't got nothing to do with it. You're gay as hell. 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 you you was giving her a chance to be a mom. I'm letting her in. Exactly, because she ain't messed you, you up. She ain't messed you up. She's she not part of drama between I'm everybody. You know what? You if you, if my brother and his baby mama, bipolar you got more coming up. Stay right there. Were your kids taken away from you because you were an unfit mother? Have things changed for the better, and now you want your kids back? We want to help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text These families have been torn apart by a lifetime of neglect and bottled up resentment. Here to help start the healing process is relationship expert and author of Good Enough Mother, Renee Seiler. Renee Seiler, how you doing? Hey, gal. Let's begin here. We just learned that Tisha has been with Robert like two times mm -hmm. since he got out of prison. And seemingly, she's not that involved in his life, according to Tisha. But even that's way too much for Kirby. So how does this group move on from there? There's a lot going on here. <laughs> you don't need me to tell you that, but one of the things that I see really in listening to Kirby talk and listening to everybody is that the thing is, Kirby, um, you cannot recapture and reclaim the past. I'm not trying. You can only build on, you can acknowledge it, but you can only build on and create a new future. And I am. But you did say that one of the things that you worried about was that you, you know, your father was in prison for 15 years, you cried yourself to sleep. Father daughter dances, those are over. That time is gone. It is. So you have to f come up with a new normal. And I, the new normal that I tried to come up with, it's not, it's, it's, it's basically like, I missed out on your life, that's dead, that's done, that's over with, and I don't even want to deal with okay. it, you know? So the other thing I, is, Kirby, you've got to listen to people. And when I say no. listen to people, you need to listen to other people and acknowledge what they have to say. You're talking to your father, and he's trying to say things, and you're just talking over him. Uh, let him. Tell me that just let, no, no, you're not going to do that to me. You, no, you won't do that to me. Listen, listen. Kirby, the other thing is, a biological daughter does not make you the only daughter. Yes, he does. took. It really doesn't, because you've just now, what you've just now done is... Uh, what about all the people who are adopted? So they're, because they're not biological children, they're not really their parents' children? That's not right. That's a good point. That's not right. Now, hold on. Hold on, Kirby. Renee. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me speak. I have a stepfather. You're speaking all day long. I have a stepfather. And he treats me just like he treats his own oh, daughter. Oh, my goodness. Him and my stepdad actually got into it because of the way he was talking to me. Okay, so my you acknowledge it. My stepdad didn't appreciate but, but that. that but, 
At, at, at any rate, you cannot say that. In my business, you cannot say that. Trying to tell me how to raise my child. Right, right. All right, Renee, not, we got to go left. Just because you're the biological child doesn't, you know, you doesn't mean that he doesn't have other people in his life. He and does, I and you her. cannot. All right, Renee, we got to move to the left, Donna. And you, and, and you cannot require him to spend all of his time with you. All right, Renee, okay, we got to Donna. Right. Ten kids, I guess three or so baby daddies, no relationship with any of them. Drug addiction, prostitution, I, terrible no, life, and now one with, child seemingly is well adjusted and dominant, but Mark Way is completely. Is look, look at the body Wait, language okay, of these so two. Okay, so it's a lie. All I right. do have relationships. Where do they move from here? I have my grandkids. I have all. Well, everybody has relationships. relationships. The relationship. question is whether they're good. Not, yeah, that's not true. Okay, but but. Listen up. Listen up, Donna. All right. So, Mark Way, I, I mean, what is it that you really want from her? You keep saying, I want her to be a mother. Well, what is that? Me? Like, is you that rocking you to sleep so, at night? No, or, I you mean, want what a is definition that? of what I'm trying to say. I need a woman. <clears throat> I need her to be a woman. I need her to know to act woman. when you go to the store. I shouldn't have to do stuff that she's but, supposed but to listen, be doing. Listen, I shouldn't have I to go that, for but, other but people's love. Right, right, so I know, I know, but you shouldn't have to, but sometimes reality isn't the way. Sometimes in... What's in your mind isn't always what is reality. So you have to deal with what's in what's front in of you. Mind? Your it's mom, sense. But, but, the, but the thing is, your mom, it sounds like, is doing the best she can do, right? Is that no. what she's saying? No. Yes. no. Well, that's no. what she's saying. Yes. No. Wait a minute. No, you don't what? step in between your son <laughs> and their spouse <laughs> no. relationship just because you're being despiteful because you have a problem with me. That's okay. not You right. shouldn't. That no. Is no. Not true. Okay, that's, one, that's one more true. thing. I just have to say this. Lastly, go ahead, Renee. Dominic. Come on, Dominic. I don't care. 19, 16, 12, 21. I don't care how old you are. I know. You don't. Sleep it was with wrong. someone's ex. That's it true. was wrong. Okay. And honestly, I made every attempt possible that to even apologize did. for it. But that he says that he won't did. accept it because I don't. I don't. You won't look accept like it. I'm, no, because he says not, I don't sound like I'm sincere. Do stuff See, every what you time. do, what you do, Mark Quay, no. is you want what Mark Quay wants. No, what I do is I just help him out. Well, do you do you do you have hope for this for relationship? Do you want a relationship with her? Do you have hope for the future? I need her to have a relationship with Let's me. Let's leave it at that. When we continue, it's the bottom line. For more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. Want to take a peek behind the cameras? Then follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Or follow me on Instagram because you don't want to miss a minute of the backstage drama. It's unedited, unfiltered, and unbelievable. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think Donna and Marquay will ever have a mother-son relationship? If you've been hurt by your parent or blamed by your kid, here's the bottom line. Feeling betrayed by family is one of the worst pains there is, and that agony can become a burning anger. So instead of placing the blame, try to stamp out the flame. Show remorse and give forgiveness before your family bonds burn up for good. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time.